In this video, we're, uh, we're actually looking at a track and field athlete's start. And uh, one of the biggest things that we'd noticed was the girl in the middle here, who's in, in the lane that's straight in front of the video, um, wasn't getting much out of uh, her block starts, essentially. And, um, and from filming it, we were able to identify a couple of little areas that we thought we could modify um, quite easily to potentially improve that start. So as we sort of scroll through um, the sl already slow-mo video, one of the biggest things that we were able to see was that um, the first, if we look at her right leg, as she the swing phase, and she's bringing her her leg now through, you'll actually see that there's quite a marked uh, internal rotation at the femur, um, and as a result, she's just not getting the length out of that first stride, and uh, and essentially we were. We were trying to, I guess, identify why in those first two to three strides um, she wasn't as quick as what she potentially could be. And one of the biggest things, like I said, we were able to identify with the slow-mo um, and with programs like this was that she was being held in kind of almost a uh, an internally rotated femoral position, um, which was limiting her ability to hip flex uh, and get a nice, good, long stride um, into that first stride out of the blocks. Now again, it's a small component, um, but it's a you know a hundred meter sprinter, and this athlete uh, raced at the previous Commonwealth Games and is looking to obviously make the Olympic team. Um, it was quite a significant difference over an event that's only going to last ten seconds. So again, from this, we were able to uh, to adapt her dry land and preparation phase work um, and also bias our further objective examinations as to determine why we were sort of almost falling into that internally rotated hip position. Um, and that basically, I guess, um, framed how our objective examination and potentially our long-term treatment and plan was going to be to address this. Again, this patient didn't have any pain, um, but what they did have was uh, was some significant things that they could work on to gain an extra third to half a foot um, out of that first uh, stride out of the blocks.